what's going on guys mimic here with another video this one is going to be all about the best food buffs in the game what they do where to farm them how often i farm and then if it's worth upgrading them to the tier two levels of the food um so let's jump in i'm going to try to make this one quick for you guys uh if you guys come to vienta village which is in the middle of the map here for all the people who aren't playing the game yet you'll want to come to vienta village it's kind of like the main village of the game it's right here located in the center of the map Go ahead and come here and you're going to make your way to the plaza right in the middle of the Vienta village. And there is a sundries crafter. You'll want to come to her. And here is where you can craft your foods. Now there's two levels of foods. It's green here or blue. Okay. So let's look at the green one, the quality aroma pie. It's going to give you a plus 50 all hit plus 50 all critical hit. It lasts for 10 minutes. And then it says there a pie made with dried smoked meat seasoned with subtlety around oh, aromatic spices it's rich in nutrition and flavor the blue version of it is going to be right here and you can see here that it's plus 60 instead of plus 50 and then the uh it lasts 30 minutes so it's going to last three times as long this one is 30 minutes the other version is only 10 and it can show you here on the corner what's needed to make it you're going to need four aromas and you're going to need one quality smoked meat now the aromas can be found if you click the aroma and, and click how to acquire it actually tells you how to find it and i believe here it's gathering and it tells you where you can find uh the aromas now my favorite place to go is pure light this is where i go pure light just for reference it's up here northwest side of the map this is where i do 90 percent of all my farming for materials so i'm going to show you guys how i farm it really quick and um, just to show you guys what I do. So you're gonna need four aromas and you're gonna need quality smoked meat, which you can buy from the guild hall. I'll show you guys that in a second. Uh, the quality salted jerky, it's plus 100 on defense and it lasts 10 minutes. You need salt and you need quality smoked meat, okay? Uh, now salt, believe it or not, I actually don't farm this a lot uh, because I don't use defenses, but this is where you would get it. You pretty much come and kill uh these monsters here located uh on the map and then they're gonna drop the salt for you okay um quality corba sandwich you're gonna need corba uh, which you can get at uh pure light as well um there it is right there pure light hill and i'm gonna show you guys that in a second and then you're gonna need quality golden rye which you can buy at the guild hall and then corba is gonna give you plus 75 boss hit plus 75 critical hit for 10 minutes. The blue version of it, it's gonna give it for plus 90 boss hit, plus 90 critical hit, and then it's gonna do it for 30 minutes, okay? And then finally, the last one is a PVP buff. It's 75 PVP hit, plus 75 PVP critical hit for 10 minutes, and then um, the blue version is for 30 minutes. So this is plus 90, plus 90 for 30 minutes, and then you can see here to make the original muffin you need routine routine can be found by hunting mobs and you can find the place that i like to go the the easiest is i come to moonlight desert this place is infested with mobs just spawn over here at the moonlight desert waypoint fly in and have at it they do drop the routine pretty regularly there um, now to make the blue version you're going to need fruce and um you're gonna need one of the muffins so every time you upgrade to a blue green to blue you're gonna need the the base first you're gonna need one of these first and then you can actually make it into the rare okay now tran apples on the rare aroma pie these drop but they only drop if you read there it says it's a fruit that can be harvested from trees while raining or gathered from plants uh, or a plant type monster so you need to be farming the trees while it's raining and it's going to be giving you that tran apple there so let's actually go so i can show you guys it is raining here at uh, vienta but it's probably not raining in pure light so i'm just going to go over there see if it is raining i don't think it is uh, and i'm going to show you guys where to go to farm everything so this should not take too long um now i always use the uh this buff here uh, where is it at? This one, the rare aroma pie. I always use the, the blue version and uh, it's because it's going to give me all hit, right? So all hit plus 60, all critical hit plus 60 for 30 minutes. This is great for when you're doing PVE content. Um, you're trying to clear bosses. You're trying to kill mobs. You're trying to do your contracts quicker and kill the monsters. 100% pop the food. It's going to give you a buff for 30 minutes and it's going to make you clear the content out much quicker. So I'm always using those. Of course, I'm not using it now because I'm just doing a quick video, but here is the first thing. So 
the trees as you can see on the top right of the map there is a tree icon it's going to tell you that there is a tree here a star tree now at night when it's not raining these star trees are going to give you materials and the material that the star tree gives you is that fruits and if you remember the fruits here let me scroll down the fruits which is right here is used to make the uh routine muffins so if you just click it and you go to uh view usage you see here it makes the routine muffins so if you want pvp foods you want to be knocking down the trees because they're going to give you that fruits uh, and then that's going to help you build your food storages there. Now, the mushrooms here, the medicinal mushrooms, these are really good too. You'll want to get a bunch of these every time you see them. You come to Pure Light, they're going to give you that aroma. You can see I got five there just on one tick. I got five aromas. And just so you guys know, the aromas here are right here. And it says here uh, that if you go to view usage, the aroma is used to make that quality aroma pie. So it makes the base pie that you need to turn it into the blue ones that I actually use. So every time you see the mushrooms, pick them up. It's worth it. It's going to give you the plus, uh, the plus damage and the plus critical hit while you're doing the PV PVE and PVP. But I mainly use it for PVE as the PVP muffin is going to give you more damage. I think that gives you 90 as opposed to the 60 that the, that the other aroma pie gives you. So here is another um here is another tree right here i'm gonna go ahead and hit this now i always farm when i'm doing my contracts while i'm doing contracts here at pure light it is literally the only place i do contracts I'm, I'm hitting all of these as i run around as i see them popping up on the map it takes four or five seconds to hit it you might as well do it while you're there because your foods you'll notice that you do eat them a lot and they do go pretty quick so i'm always farming uh, whenever I have downtime just to get my food storages up, you can see I got nine aromas there just in one prop, so which is great. Um, so let's come over here and let's hit this leaf here. So these are the herbs right here, the wild herbs. So we're going to hit that. And it's going to give us some materials there, which is that Quarba, right? So the herbs give you the Quarba. Uh, which is right here. Where is it at? Corba, Corba, right here, Corba. And you say view usage, it's going to make that quality sandwich there, uh, which is going to give you that boss hit plus 75, plus 75 critical hit for the 10 minutes. Now, these are just the base variations, okay? To make them to blue, you're going to need to get that additional item that they require. And a lot of them, it happens whenever it's raining. So you have to be out here farming when it's raining and you'll get those... Uh, those subsequent items, materials that you'll get, and then you can use those to make your additional blue foods. So I wanted to show you guys that this is kind of my rotation. This is what I do. And they also give you those natural essences there. And those essences, uh, these essence, they are used to make these potions. So you you win, you, you win by just coming here anyways because they're going to give you the mats that you need to actually make potions as well so you're not only farming for food you're farming it for those potions as well because those potions are very 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 strong uh and they're very limited the potions only last for uh let's see they only last for like a couple seconds let me see right here so this one only lasts for 24 seconds okay the blue one lasts for 24 seconds the smaller ones only last for 15 seconds so um, it's a very short boost, but the damage you feel is much, much, much increased. So it's worth, uh, you know, just farming the stuff that you see because you're going to be getting those materials and you're going to be able to craft your foods and your potions by hitting all these little, um, these little waypoints. Now I like doing it at night. I feel like at night I get more loot. Uh, and then also when it's raining, you want to be hitting it when it's raining for sure, because that's when you're going to be getting those tier two materials that you can make uh your foods into the blue ones so anytime it's raining if you're out and about you see something to hit look at this guy hitting that one right there you see something to hit just hit it because um you might as well you're already out you're already near it there's no one else getting it just hit it you're gonna trust me you're gonna be using it uh to make your foods for sure so i'm gonna hit this mushroom real quick and then we're gonna go back to vienta village oh so that one gave me 11 look at that that's a lot so let's go back to vienta then we're going to craft the foods. And then that's going to be the video. So the first thing you want to do is got a little frame loss there. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is, and you can actually come over here and do it. The Sundry's Merchant. 
Um, I'm gonna buy two smoked meats, I'm gonna buy two golden rice, and I'm gonna buy two dried roots. So, you're gonna need these materials to do the green ones, and then you're also gonna need these materials to do the blue ones. The, the rare golden rye and the rare dried root, you need those to churn the materials blue. But I'm just gonna show you guys right now um, what I do. So, I come over here, once I buy that. And then I'm going to come to that Sundries merchant here in Vienta. And then I'm just going to click and you'll see here that I'm able to craft these foods because I bought that dried root because I bought the golden rye and I bought the smoked meat. So you need to buy those from the vendor, but the actual crafting material, the Corba, the Rotine and the aroma, you're actually going to get all of that by hitting what I just showed you. So I'm going to go ahead and craft these two. I'm going to craft them. I'm going to craft these two. And I'm going to craft one. I only have enough to make one routine. I'm going to craft that. Now you can see that I crafted those. Now it's allowing me to craft the blue ones. So I can upgrade what I just made and turn them into the stronger ones. And uh, the aroma pies need the tran apple. The corbas need the herba. And the routine need the fruits. And the herba is... Uh, harvested from wild grasses at night or gathered from animal monsters and the aroma pie needs a tran apple which again is gap harvested from trees while it's raining or gathered from plant type monsters and then the routine here needs the fruits uh, which is harvested from trees at night or gathered from insect monsters so you can see here i'm just going to craft these two it only costs 782 oh, and i got a great success anytime you get a great success you're granted an additional food food so it's like an additional proc instead of creating just one it creates an extra one for you so that is the video i hope it was uh you know i hope it made sense it was pretty straightforward i just kind of wanted to go in depth on where i go to craft the materials uh and then kind of explain you know which ones are the best ones when to use them and kind of what my rotation is when i'm doing my dailies i uh i go and do my contracts at pure light and then while i'm doing my contracts if i see that there's uh something i can harvest i just hit it really quick and that keeps my storages up pretty full this way i'm not worried about it you can see i've got 800 corba here i'm kind of low on the herba a little low on the fruits but i have a lot of the aromas which is what i use the most because the rare aroma pies is kind of used all the time because it's going to give you all hit plus 60 and all critical hit plus 60 for 30 minutes. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, throw them in the comment section. If you like the video, give me a like. And if you want to see some more, all you got to do is sub. Thanks so much. Until I see you guys next time. Peace.